Hello guys, and in today's YouTube video, we're going to be using the Inquisitor Adept Shotgun. The Inquisitor was the shotgun for week 4 of Trials of Osiris. I was going to do a 48 hour, but I'm very happy that I did not, because that week was Maldi as fuck. Probably one of the toughest weeks we've had in a very long time. Anyway, let me get to talking about my role. I'm going to put on a shader, because I love the gold. Eat it. Very big fan of that. Put on that shader, so it's a lighter gold. Anyway, my role is fluted barrel, assault mag, perpetual motion, uh, opening shot. I'm using one quiet moment because it's sixes. Normally, I would have this perk on. I could put on throw synergy, but I don't really see a point. And then I am using a depth targeting adjuster. Let's go over here to Destiny 2 Gunsmith really quick so I can discuss what I think personally is the best role on the Inquisitor Adept. So for me, I don't really see a point in maxing out the range to 100. I just don't really like I, I don't know why you would or even maxing out the handling to 100 you know I, I just don't see the point because to me personally what I think is the best role is polygon rifling assault mag perpetual motion and opening shot and then a stability masterwork with an adept targeting adjuster and the reason that I feel this way is because first of all if you have opening shot that gives you 25 range and at the base range with a masterwork adept including Inquisitor is at 76, so right off the bat there, you're already maxed out on range just with the opening shot. And then also, if you have the Quick Charge mod, which is available on Arc Pieces, this mod right here, Quick Charge, uh, you have increased handling for shotguns, so you are able to hit, it gives you 25 handling. So it's basically, it has the effectiveness of like opening shot, but for handling. So I'm at, you're at 79 handling base, so you're actually capped, you're a little bit over over the cap with this role and that's the thing is this this shotgun is such a stat monster that you can really afford to just build into all stability to negate flinch as much as possible and then i go for the adept targeting adjuster here because its base aim assist value is very low whereas other shotguns or slug shotguns in particular for example let's look at Sorgen's tail that has 35 aim assist that's very low this one also has 27 i'm trying to find the fortismo because i know that that one yeah fortismo base has 57 aim assist which is you know even even here with the inquisitor with an adept targeting adjuster we're only at 45 and i believe heritage yeah heritage has 68 aim assist as well and i do have a very good role on heritage somewhere i think it's like literally a four to five yeah right here i have a salt mag fluted barrel slide shot op or slide shot uh snapshot i believe this literally yeah the only thing that could be better is if i had a handling masterwork or stability masterwork here so yeah anyway that is why i decide to opt for a max stability and adept targeting adjuster uh inquisitor over the max range or max handling or very high range and very high handling shotgun rolls you'll typically see a lot of people talk about so or a lot of people boost up that to me this is the intellectual pick it gives you the highest flinch resistance it gives you the highest fire rate the highest range the highest handling and the highest aim assist all in one making it pretty decent so with I'm, i believe i'm not i'm not sure exactly what two targeting adjuster mods do but i think i know with one targeting adjuster mod it gives you plus 10 aim assist i don't know if it's plus 10 like twice or if it's like plus 10 and then plus five with if you have two but i know at least your aim assist is at 55 with one shotgun targeting potentially you know 60 or 65 and then you have opening shot to add a extra 20 aim assist and you know to negate some of the accuracy cone and accuracy cone growth anyway this is the role that i'm going for i'm using it with my dire promise since i don't have any hand cannon targeting mods i'm using my snapshot rangefinder role so my ads speed is fast still and uh i'm using that with arc titan or grenades and stuff and uh let's get into the gameplay i hope you guys enjoy let me know what you think in the comments below about my god role inquisitor let me know if you agree with it and if you disagree let me know why you disagree let's get into the gameplay all right here we go, Twilight Cap. This is uh, going to be an interesting one. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm particularly too good with slug shotguns. So, it'll be kind of kind of funky, but I'll try to make it work. I'm going to head towards B. Let's see, I'm going to put a shield down on B. Oh, this guy's contesting me. Ooh. Did not go his way. Let's run a storm mate at me. That's going to last eight seconds. Jumping up in front of me. You get some more shotgun ammo. 
I think it's the same guy I just shotgunned. No, it's not. Wait, is it? I don't know what if that guy was. I think he might have been. I have knockout right now. One guy, yep. One shot. He's running. I'm just gonna ape in with shoulder charge. A little overshield there, love that. With the shoddy. This guy's down low. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Oh my god. Oh. We're live. It's okay. I am surprised I'm alive. Pleasant surprise, but surprise nonetheless. We put a shield down here on B. Or A, this is definitely not B. Oscar Shriga Man. Shock on that guy. Fly in here with knockout. Oh my god. Jesus. I think I picked a good class to use this one. We got Oscar Shriga. He's just gonna shoot that thing like crazy. I don't know what that is. That guy's shooting some alien technology at me. They're chasing me down low. Oh, there's a guy up top. Take him out with a hand cannon. A little bit over half to my slam. My team currently does not have map control. I missed. Oh my god. That guy's arc damage resist. Oh lord. Heavy is on B now. I try to head to that. I think some guy's contesting me for it. Oh yeah. Oh he's got a sword. Oh my god. Fucking psycho bitch. Oh my god. I'm gonna get on B here. Try to cap this. Like I, I think you forgot with Eager Edge. You can't just like... You can't just do what he just did. He just like tried to run at me and use it. You have to like... The guy's got Forerunner. My puny legendary hand cannon stands no chance. That's one. Fucker's contesting the zone. It's kind of rude. Duck on that guy. Screen. Guys in front of me. There's also guys behind me though, so I gotta be kind of careful. Yep, this guy's using some funky stuff. Alien technology. Ooh. Push this guy and B. Load really quick, just in case I miss that. I fall off the map. Storm grenade, get me out. I try to get this heavy. I'm probably not gonna be able to because like I pulled it so quick. Ah, I got it. Nice. I pop well here. Oh, right in front of me. Break that. And then I'm gonna go for B. Or look towards B. That guy out. Guy down low, I think. Get down low, I'm gonna pop. Probably should have used that on a zone instead of killing those two guys, but. That guy's gonna kill me. Oh, that's tough. I feel like we need to cap C or something. Might be the move instead of holding these zones that we've been holding. This guy's got some stasis tech. Not a fan of that. Oh, yeah. Not a fan of that either. I'm gonna run. Need to cap B when teammate fell off the map. This is a rough game. I feel like uh, we're definitely able to slay. Like, I've only died once, but... Give me, give me all that. Give me all that, yes! Just capping these zones and holding them is tough. This current team, this guy's so one. And he popped a little lunatic. Should be able to put a shield here. No, no that's not good. I have to leave that now. Oh, I got shot in the back. It's it's just so tough to get this. They have like such good AOE control over there. Like I get over there and I just shot melee that guy. I want to try to get this heavy because that could be huge. 
shotgun that guy in the head. This thing feels pretty good. I'm gonna die, yeah. I don't think there's any way my team can win this unless we like start double capping, but I don't think that's gonna happen because they just do not seem like they're able to do that. I'll try to get some damage in on this guy. That's gonna kill two. Come out. Over shield. Oh my god. That's gonna push me. Would you shot you there? There's another guy down low, yep. This guy's gaming. Holy fuck. Go back and get this heavy. I'm hoping my team can win that. Trying to cap A, cannot have that. This is amazing. This is my primary here. Bring this guy up. Try to go help Potato Jim. He's gonna die, that sucks. So those two guys are gonna reset the zone. That also is not optimal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we lose here. I just have had double cap for so long. There's like nothing I can do to stop them from doing it. So many of them. Guy's melting me. He's got... Take him out. This guy's looking at me. This guy got heavy. Running. That yeah, might be winnable. Take him out. Yeah, it could be. Could be, actually. If I can hold this, I just gotta keep them off the, the last line of defense for the last safe city here. Oh, they're on A. What the fuck? They've almost won. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Hopefully my storm grenade goes crazy. Excellent. This guy's got a super. Oh boy. I think I reset it, but there's probably got. Yeah, no, they're there. There's just so many of them, man. We gotta cap it. We gotta cap uh, C. Probably. The only way. I think my team is like heading that way too, but probably not gonna be soon enough. That guy out. Yeah, I think it's they win at oh, 120. One minute. One shot mid. Yep, got cleaned. Shield down. Oh yeah, they win. There's no way. You captured zone C. You have zone advantage. Said, the fuck? Oh, the guy just aped in like at the last second. Shotgun this guy in the back. Well, that was a tough game. I don't feel like I played horribly. Like I, I feel like I played really well actually. I didn't. This war took me a bit to die, but it is. Most of my deaths were like, yeah, no. Most of my deaths were me trying to push. Like I. We, we just could not cap. That's uh, that's the, I guess, I don't know if there's team balancing in this, but I'm going to play one more with this shotgun. I didn't really feel like I got to use it too much. I did get to use it quite a little, or a little bit, and it definitely felt very nice, but I want, I want to use it a little bit more. Although I, you know, don't have the ideal role that I'm looking for. There's a little bit more handling than I would like normally. This is, you know, do two games with it. I might start doing that because I feel like for me to genuinely like get an opinion on it it usually is going to take I mean it's it's going to take me more than two games but like in a quick session it's probably safe to do two games instead of just one so far it feels really nice though like I said it, it feels like no aiming at the head it feels like the hitbox is very big on mouse and keyboard because that's one thing you gotta consider as well I am mouse and keyboard so I don't know I might want to look into using Suro Synergy potentially over one quiet moment just for sixes i'm not really sure this one obviously is not going to be al Cerilli. that's not going to be like good at all or al Cerilli. that's not going to be good at all in this so it's going to be between these two Soros synergy gives me bonus handling reduced incoming flinch but it's only for a short period of time i feel like the one quiet moment is going to be the move because i'm just going to be able to get you know more ammo in my gun quicker and like downtime than i uh, will be otherwise Unknown the infinite forest. Here we go. Hopefully we win this game. 
I think we could have potentially won that last game. I don't. I just don't know what I needed to do to win that. Quite frankly, like that one was just such a tough one because it. No matter what I did, like it just storm grenades and they just had so much AOE and like it. It, pretty, it seemed like they were pretty intelligent. Like they knew that they needed to hold B. I mean, obviously it's zone control. That's all the game type is is playing the zone. So there's literally no other objective. And I was trying to play the objective, it's just, it's tough. The enemy team is controlling B, unfortunately. I'm mid here, he's got perk already? Alrighty. I am not gonna peek, well I am gonna peek, but... That was one shot. That's flying out, a lot of Terraba gamers, okay. There's two of them in this lobby. So it's Storm made. I don't know if this guy's gonna push or not. Alright, I'm instantly... Feeling like I should probably be trying to flip the spawns here. Take that guy out. That was that felt real nice. The shield here, so I can just. That was weird. What? Oh, he got. There was a healing grenade there, so he like aped in. That makes sense. I thought like him like uppercutting like that, like he did an uppercut, and then canceled it. it but he just did it to like be evasive. It was super weird. I'm just gonna ape here. Oh, that was a bad idea. I'm gonna head towards B. We do have two zones, actually, so we don't even need B. Take that guy with a hand cannon. This guy's flying up in the air with DMT. Big meaty one on him. Oh, that was nice. I'm gonna go try to get this power. Go make them cry. Oh, that sucks. Especially for this game type. That's why I have it on myself, is because, like, god damn, it's just... Do so much damage, have such a big area of effect as well. I'm owning that guy right now. Like, I'm just really all over that guy. Go left here. I'll try to get a wide angle with my hand cannon. Be tap the guy with DMT. I'm gonna jump up. Get that guy out as well. Got ammo. Load. My hand cannon. Should be able to cap this zone. Especially since I have like all of my abilities in my kit up. Definitely be doable. I'm gonna throw a Stormnade up top. I, I don't know why I did that. There was not even anyone over here. Someone is off to the left. I'm gonna shoulder charge left. I think this guy behind me knows me. That guy gunned me. I had cover I didn't. I also honestly didn't expect him to like be there for some reason. Like I definitely played that smart. He like literally just didn't push at all and sat around a corner. So like even if he was losing that gunfight, he could have backed down. Look towards B. Take that one shot. Take him out. Get a little bit of an overshield there. There's a guy top right. Take him out as well. That's four guys down. I missed both those guys. I thought I hit the second one, but I guess not. Probably flicked a little bit off his head. I'm gonna be... I'm honestly gonna go... Oops. I was going to go super on C, but that did not... Like, that one guy, just like, my teammates... <laughs> he was a force to be reckoned with there. What this guy's doing, I think he's just... Well, I'm dead. Traded there. And head Don't towards C, see if I can cap this. This is they're definitely gonna get points from this. Oh, DMT guy. Oh yes. Alright. I wonder I wonder what his role is. Probably shouldn't be looking at this in the middle of the game, but I'm just curious. I wonder if he I didn't even I wondered if he had a high air accuracy role, but he he doesn't. Alright, my team is about to lose this game. Hopefully we do not. It'd be really disappointing. Tap that guy on this zone. The guy, I think someone just picked up heavy. Yeah, he's e Reg. You captured zone A. You have zone advanced. Oh boy. Oh, okay, that was interesting. I didn't think he still had it. Just, he picked it up off someone's dead body, but ooh, tough. All over you there, bud. Cap this zone. We gotta cap this next one though. I just got one shot. Oh. I 
Looking for the guy with uh wherever the guy with DMT is, I don't know where he went. I'm gonna head towards okay now they're all C it looks like. I wanna just kinda like go to whatever zone they're going to be at next. Which I think is no, it's not gonna be A. They're they're just gonna beat me B. Slug shock on that guy. Stormnade. Three guys there. That's big. Also bought a lot of time. I think they're going towards B now. Or maybe not. Oh no. DMT lover. I'm gonna back down. Slide out again. Yeah, notice how this guy is not leaving cover. Like I'm ego challenging him hard here. Yeah, he's just running now. Yeah, he, he's playing very, like, safe. He doesn't move from... He, like, gets to cover and, like, you know, obviously if he's losing the gunfight, he's going to disengage. That's a smart thing to do. Get that guy out. Oh, he's in his animation. Grab heavy. There's orbs there. Like you, I could build like the guy with DMT. Man, I could not finish That's that guy for some reason. I'm gonna head towards C team. now, since they're capping oh, DMT lover. Leave him one shot. You try. Not today, my friend. I throw a storm nade. I backed up a lot further than I thought he could. We'll try once again. Nice little overshield. Load the shoddy. I think they might get B potentially, which is definitely not good, but uh, the game is so far gone, I don't think it matters. DMT lover. Guy's fucked. Yeah, there's no living for you, bud. He's gonna die off the map. Yep, I, or no, I didn't think he was able to die, get off the map. I'm gonna head towards A. Put shield down here. I tried to cover my teammate there, but he did not make it behind the shield in time. That guy wants in the body. It's gonna hold. There's no reason for me to push out, really. It's the goat. Anyway, we'll make that the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I actually really like this slug, the slug shotgun. This is probably one of my favorite. Personally, my favorite. I don't really mess around with slug shotguns too much either. So this this one I, I really enjoy though quite a bit over you know other ones. I do have a God Roll Heritage. I just like I feel like the aim assist, like aim assist and opening shot is just so integral to any type of shotgun being good, whether it's a slug or a pellet. I just feel like opening shot is really what makes them because they've nerfed aim assist and you know they, they, they've just been they nerf like targeting and aim assist. In so many regards, when you're sliding, when you're jumping, and it's just, I feel like it's probably, the, those are like the two most important, or the three most important things are like aim assist, range, and handling, and then stability. But, and this thing has max range, max stability, assuming you have the god roll, max range, max stability, max fire rate, and max aim assist, which it, it has about, you know, 40 or 55, 60 aim assist, you know, uh, base with, you know, targeting mods, 50, 60 aim assist, and then you have an extra 20 on top of that, you know, and it's, it's, it's very nice. And uh, I enjoyed it a lot. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.